In today's episode, we would like to show you how you can do infinite scrolling on your table driven by Turbo and Hotwire, but also it would work for any other cases in which you need some kind of pagination or load lazily, lazy loading of the content. Hi, Tomek. Hi, Okash. Let's see the, uh, we're still using the project example that we used in the previous video, uh, in which we talked about how you can use uh, Hotwire Turbo in order to generate the, um, I mean, in, in order to stream the responses. Uh, we also talked about how we did do it effectively. Uh, you can check the previous video somewhere here. Uh, but today, once again, we're looking at the well, slightly different project table uh, because previously it was the Kanban, more or less, right? So yep. uh, maybe let's see how it behaves. So yeah, let's let's start with the demo uh, and then we go to the code. Uh, so you can see here the list of projects on in the table. And, um, and the idea here is that when we scroll down, like it is usually in the infinite scroll, it will load new rows in the table, <clears throat> uh, but lazily, right? right? So when we, um, when we go here, you can see that there was some kind of animation prepared by Ukash. Take a look. Beautiful. Ah, <laughs> that's me <laughs> doing CSS. Um. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so um, how it works here is like we have this table, we scroll down, the frame is like visible here, and then we do the loading of the new 10 rows, I think, right, Lukash? Yeah. When we reach the, when, when actually we reach the certain position of the scroll, it always triggers a new page, which uh, talks to our endpoint, which sends the new batch of the data. Uh, and as Tomek mentioned, the size of the batch is just 10. And yeah, and here you can actually see how it works. Uh, like, um, for example, you have this uh, request here with the page eight, and you can see that we got the response where we have the turbo stream action append target mm -hmm. project table and body. So it means that for the project table um, element with this ID, we append those rows here, right? And there is 10 of them, so we mm -hmm. can find it. We can find it, we can find the table and we have the table body here with the project mm -hmm. table body ID <clears throat> and we append those um, rows. But then I think uh, at the end, we also have like turbo stream replace. Mm -hmm. So we replace the pagination itself, right? The frame with the pagination and we can see here the HTML where we have the data attribute load the uh, lazy ID pagination, right? And the new SRC where is project turbo stream page nine. So the, the new and the new frame here, and we can see so, that. So it points frame. us to the next page, if it exists, exactly. uh, that will be visible in the code. And uh, that's that's how it uh, used to work. I think that's a very common case in like modern applications that we need some, that we need some uh, lazy, lo uh, lazy loaded, infinite scrollable uh, content to, uh, to, to render on our pages. We don't want to render everything, right? Because user may not need it. So let's see how it's done in the code. Yeah, so uh, first of all, in the projects controller, we added the pagey, 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 pagey. Pagey, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah we're using pagey in this example, but that would probably also work with the other, um, with the other providers of um, the paginations which I don't remember, but I know that they <laughs> exist. <laughs> For sure. Um, yeah, so that has only changed here in the controller. I think nothing uh, more interesting here, right? Um, yeah, previously we just returned all the projects. Uh, we, just, ah, yeah. I, we actually assigned the projects to the project all table. Uh, by the way, in the description of this episode, you can find the repository. The example is here. Uh, I did it in small steps, not not the smallest possible, but with, with the small steps, so you can actually see uh, how the project evolved. Yeah, I think you're right. That's step one to five, and again, no, again. That, that, that's uh, that's the with the at page. It starts with the at page. Ah, yes. yeah, here, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
so Oops. you can see how um, we can install that because you also need to include the uh, pagey backend and pagey frontend in certain places actually in the application con controller and in the application helper or at least that's how i did it you need an initializer of pagey in which you will also require the pagey countless but we will not get into this code uh, you can find it in the repository yeah and as long as long you want to use the pagey right you can you can do it on your own with your type of pagination let's say mm. um is it but just they claim like... they are fastest <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah uh, we can take it for granted yeah um <laughs> obviously <laughs> <laughs> maybe mm. oh, okay um yeah uh and then we have the index html uh, template and that's where... what you saw initially right mm -hmm. uh yes and there you can see this like t-body <clears throat> Mm -hmm. um, with projects that you display here, right? render the rows for them uh, with the ID project table body. You, you've seen that in the basically in the uh, inspector uh, window uh, mm -hmm. a few moments ago. And here you have the uh, here we have the pagination part uh, like here, right? Yeah, so starting from the line 23, there is this turbo frame tag that we create. This is the one that Tomek showed you with the ID pagination. That's how we named it. It doesn't have to be named pagination, by the way. It doesn't have to be symbol either. You can do it. You can uh, bring uh, any ID that you would like to. Also, it could... Okay, it couldn't be div because the div wouldn't have the SRC and lazy loading. But correct me if I'm mistaken. Um, all right, so... The SRC points to the our endpoint, and we specify that we actually would like to get the next page, and mm -hmm. that we would like to have this uh, returned in the Turbo Stream format, because other way it would this simple endpoint would just return the HTML, which wouldn't do any good for us. You can experiment with that code if you want to. Uh, we checked that before the episode. Um, yeah. Let us know. Maybe maybe you are lying to. No, we don't. Uh, then we have the la loading lazy, and this is actually the part where uh, when Tomek was scrolling, and then we re we um, got into certain part of the page, the frame started to be visible to our browser. So it sent the request to the backend, and then we get a new batch of the data. Right. So this is the what. Well, this is why we need la uh, loading lazy. If we wouldn't have loading lazy, well. We can actually see what would happen. Let's uh, yeah. let's have this experience together. Uh, yeah, and before we go there, we also have to remove it from this place. We will get back to it in a moment. Uh, just let uh, let it refresh the page, <gasps> and you can see. Whoa, so many. Why places. only twenty times, stomach? Because I didn't uh, change the uh, setup, and we have only two hundred projects here. Exactly. Yeah. So ten times to twenty pages. That makes up to two hundred. I was really good at math in school. Um, but if we change the throttling, we can see the uh, animation <laughs> all the time. Long live SSR. Okay, that's really cool. Um, so uh, let's go back to this magic file. So um, unless you want, do you want no, to no. see anything? Yeah. No, okay. Uh, so yeah, mm. so, so you can see there is this mysterious index.turbostream.rb. So this is what actually the our endpoint, uh, the index endpoint returns to us when we request the turbostream format SRC, which points to the project's URL with the next page. It returns this, um, this, HTML file and as you can see this is basically what we see in in the browser in the response previously we have the turbo stream append which appends the data to our projects table body uh, once again this is an ID for the that we used it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be named like that it doesn't have to be a symbol uh, that will also work with a string uh, we iterate the project uh, line by line and we render a new table row. That's why previously we extracted this view to a partial. You don't have to do it that way. You could use still partial in the index HTML. That will still work. And then what we do, we have the turbo stream replace. Once again, we use pagination. And as I said, it doesn't have to be simple pagination. It could be just pagination or 
table pagination, whatever, but it has to have the same name as we have in the index. This is important because we are talking about the same turbo frame mm -hmm. from two different views, right? And we have a really small logic that if there is a next page, uh, we're using the page object here, then we would just replace the uh, pagination frame with the new uh, new SRC. So if you scroll down, the next one, the next page will be loaded with the animation. And if you don't, then well, there will be just uh, empty pagination because there is no next page, right? And that's yeah. it. <clears throat> with this turbo stream uh, file name, uh, it's like um, it automatically knows that like it, it it's the response for the. Uh, for the turbo stream format, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we have here, right? Because we could also do it like in the uh, controller where we do something like we did here, uh, for example, um, with the response to. <clears throat> uh, and uh, well, it will be just like uh, the, um, the example. We could do like append to the table and here we would replace the pagination uh, frame, mm -hmm. right? But, but it's like another way of, of doing it without um, doing anything in the in the controller. Well, we, I, I don't think we have any like, um, we don't have any preferences, right? Uh, I think in, mm -hmm. this, uh, in this area, it's like um, we use sometimes this one or sometimes this one, right? Yeah, I mean, in this case, you all you have to remember about the convention, right? That you will return the page that you ask for. I mean, it's not explicit; it's a little bit implicit. Uh, but I mean, every race developer or most of them, the, you know that. So it's basically up to you which uh -huh. format of this, uh, how you would like to achieve this, uh, the same thing. As to make, I don't have preferences either. Uh, both of them are. Pretty cool. Uh, yep, and I think that's it for today, right? Yeah, that's, uh, that's all we wanted to show you. We hope that this is helpful and uh, see you next time. See ya.